Hi guys, this is Fars and welcome to Farsolosi and if you are new in Photoshop world, if you are new in editing world, then this tutorial is for you. This tutorial is totally for the beginners. In this tutorial, I will try to cover up every basic and fundamental thing that you need to know as a beginner. I am pretty sure this video can be your first step in Photoshop editing world. So let's get started. <music> Okay, when you first open your Photoshop, you may find this kind of interface. Coming to the left side, here are two options. One is new file and one is open. So you can uh, hit the open button and open any file from your computer. It's very, very easy. Just click on the photos and here just hit the open button. It will open on your Photoshop. And then uh, there is one option, new file. So if you hit the new file, you will find all this option to create a new document. Here you can see you can set the name and also you can set the resolutions of your document. For now, I'm going with 180 by 180 pixels as a, resol as a resolution and name it square post. And now hit the create button. This is your new document. Now I'll show you how to import photos into this canvas. You can just click and drag and release onto your canvas and press enter. That's done. Or let's say another way. Go to the file, press embedded and just click on the place button and look at this. Now you can make your photos bigger and smaller from this if you hold shift key it will maintain the original ratio if you hold shift and option key it will maintain the center point and you can make it bigger or smaller like this that's very easy now coming to the left side this is the toolbar you will find all the tools that are used to edit or manipulate photos other than these you will find some more options in the windows like brush setting brushes channels and lot more option there then here in the right side you have color selector and all the other options that you can use now coming to this part these are the adjustment layer option there are so many useful things that is very helpful in editing you have brightness and contrast adjustment layer you have labels you have curves hue and saturation layer vibrance and saturation adjustment layer and these are very useful in terms of editing now this is the layer panel you can see here are two different layers let's make it little bit bigger okay here you can see the two different layers one is for picture and one is background you will learn more about this throughout this video now i'll talk about some basic editing tools the first one is move tool you can press v on your keyboard uh, as a shortcut to select the move tool you can easily move anything in photoshop using this move tool you can easily move subject and also the layers like this the next one is selection tool it is used to select any part of your subject and make a selection you can just copy your selection by pressing command and c and paste it by command and v now coming to the layer panel okay let's make it a little bigger Come into the layer panel and see here is another layer, another new layer named layer 1. This is your layer 1. Okay, another thing you can active or hide your layer by clicking on this eye icon on and off. On and off. You can delete this layer by pressing delete on your keyboard. The next one is lasso tool. You can uh, select freely by using this tool so this is your new selection okay press command and d to deselect the selection look at this the selection is gone right now okay then the quick selection tool or object selection tool if you are using the newer version of photoshop you will find the object selection tool this tool is used to select the subject or object it is very very useful just click and make a rectangle like this around your subject and it will automatically select your subject look at this 
this is very very useful and if you are using okay press command and D to deselect and if you are using the older version of Photoshop you will find the quick selection tool this tool is also very useful to select subject okay just click on your subject and it will automatically select your subject like this it is very very useful and handy okay let's zoom in by pressing command and plus icon on your keyboard now look at this this area is over selected now come into this option there is a plus icon and there is a minus icon you can remove any selection by clicking on this minus icon and okay you can make the brush size smaller from this option like this and now you can just remove this part from the selection and again you can add some area into your selection by clicking on this plus icon and just like this it's very very easy okay another shortcut you can press option key on your keyboard for the negative selection like this so i think the selection is done now you can just press command and z to copy this selection as a new layer look at this your selection is on now right now in layer one look at this it has no background just your subject okay another important thing i think this is the most used shortcut in photoshop uh, to undo anything press command and z look at this this was the before and i'm pressing now command and z that's very easy and it is very very helpful okay the next one is very easy the crop tool you can crop your photo by using this tool it is very easy and then i want to talk about the spot healing brush tool this is a very very useful tool in retouching uh, you can fix any imperfection and remove blemishes and any spot i'm showing you how but his skin is very very beautiful okay let's see i want to remove this hair from this area just click and paint on this hair and look at this it's gone this one it's gone this one it's gone this is how you can remove any spot any blemishes and any imperfection and you can increase or decrease the brush size from here look at this and then the brush tool one of the most used tool in photoshop okay from here you can select your brushes like this you can select any brushes from here uh, you can determine the size of the brush look at this look at this you can control the hardness or softness of your brush you can control the opacity from here and flow also actually brush tool is pretty huge and i'm not going too deep in this video i'm just uh, showing you the basic things uh, okay you can choose color from here like this and paint with your brush tool that's very easy and you can control the opacity from here too like this okay now press command and z to undo all the steps now we'll talk about the clone stamp tool you can clone something or fix any imperfection using this tool for example uh, i want to remove this hair so this time you need to pick sample so press and hold option key and look at this select the sample area just click on the mouse and then paint like this look at this it's gone again press and hold option key select the sample area and paint on your target area so it can work like this this is also very useful in retouching look at this then the eraser tool you can erase anything on photoshop by using this tool and i think this is not that important okay hide the layer and let's see look at this you can erase anything by the eraser tool press command and z to undo 
and then the gradient tool you can apply some cool gradient from this option okay at first create a new layer by clicking on this plus icon and click on this here is the gradient editor option you can create your own gradient or you can choose from here they are very good there is a lots of gradient you can choose anyone from here okay let's go with it and now just click and drag okay now let's put the layer 2 under the layer 1 for this just click the layer 2 and drag and release it under the layer 1 look at this look at the background now okay let's delete this layer 2 and try another one uh, you can use this option too and see how it works let's another okay let's use this one look at this you can sense the color you can sense the color from here and make some gradient like this so play with the colors and you can make some beautiful cool colorful background and gradient and then the text tool it's very easy to use pick the tool and start writing okay uh, you can change the font from here like this and also the font style and you can increase the size from here just like this click and drag on this T icon font icon it will increase the size you can move like this and also you can choose color from here okay look at this okay let's move it a little bit move tool select the move tool and move like this okay and then you have different shape tool a rectangle tool ellipse tool triangle polygonal and others you just select the shape and create shape like this you can fill the shape with different colors like this you can give a stroke and this is the size of the stroke you can increase or decrease let's try with another shape ellipse tool just click and drag and look at this and now i want to talk about different blending modes for this let's jump into the another image so come into the layer panel you can see here are two layers one is this one the light and another one is my main image so you already know how to active the layer or hide the layer and also you already know how to open a photo and how to place two photos into a single canvas just like this okay you can resize this uh, light by pressing command and t and now you can make it bigger or smaller like this and press enter and now come into this blending option and look at this look at the changes look carefully how it changes for different blending mode try and experiment with different blending mode i'm not going deep in this video uh, i think for this the screen is looking perfect so i'm going with the screen and now press b to select the move tool and reposition it like this okay screen option actually hide the black or darker portion of your picture that's how it works look at this it looks it looks nice give a beautiful light from this corner you can make it bigger by pressing command and t like this that's pretty easy press enter okay now let's see some adjustment layer you can use the adjustment layer from here or from here too i prefer this option okay you can use any adjustment layer from here okay let's use curves adjustment layer okay let's give a little bit contrast there like this actually this picture is edited one add some faded effect like this okay okay you can use uh, let's
let's try with this the vibrance and saturation layer you can increase the vibrance like this or decrease the vibrance that's very easy you can use any one from here i think i have covered all the basic things that you need to know as a beginner if i missed something please let me know in the comment box i will try to cover up in the next video or in the comment section okay now we have to export this so for this go to the file and save a copy and you can select wherever you want on your computer and you can select your format from here you can rename this too just hit on the save button that's it and here is another option go to the file then export and select export as and you can select your format from here you can uh, select the quality of your image and then just click on the export that's it i hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you